A claim to fame for Davenport for really many, many years now is that it's home to the Miss Iowa competition, part of the Miss America program that provides, still this is true, more scholarship money to women than any other entity in the USA. A uh, current title holder is Grace Keller, Miss Iowa 2021, down to the last, what, couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, in being able to wear that crown. <laughs> did it go fast? Did you go fast? It did. I, I was surprised by how quickly the year went by. Because when you start, you think, oh, a whole year. And then, what, what, what did you do this past year that you thought was most exciting? I did so many different things. Obviously, representing Iowa at Miss America was the big thing that I did. That was just a dream come true. But promoting my personal social impact initiative, Read to Succeed, I worked with mm -hmm. so many students, over 4,000 students across the state of Iowa. I visited over 10 schools, over 20 libraries, uh, really just toured around the entire state working with students on literacy. I got to go up to Alaska to congratulate our new Miss America, who is from Alaska. Yes, so you went to Alaska. I did. I you enjoyed that. It was very fun. I've been able to travel outside of Iowa quite a bit. Um, that has been something that I've really enjoyed as Miss Iowa, getting those opportunities as well. Sure. So when, um, have you been based here in the Quad Cities uh, during, I mean, when you are here at home? This is home? Yes, yeah, so okay. Miss Iowa traditionally lives in the Quad Cities um, just because that is kind of the home base of the scholarship program. Yeah, it has been for and a long so. time. And, and I remember, uh, well, it's been going lo like that for a long time, but everyone has always thought, oh, maybe it should be in Des Moines or something in the capital, but it's a state here and, mm -hmm. and it's done really well here. Yes. So the competition is coming up on the uh, 10th. So that's a week from this weekend, right? It's, yes. It starts on Friday or? Yes, right? so we have preliminary competition. We have 16 wonderful Miss candidates and 14 wonderful teen candidates. Mm -hmm. They will compete in preliminary competition on Friday. And then Saturday we will do our final competition, pull out those top 10 candidates and crown our new Miss Iowa and Miss Iowa's Outstanding Teen. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you started your, your, when you did your very first pageant? My very first pageant was when I was 12, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and I started my Miss America organization journey when I was 15. Is that right? What, what was your motivation for it? Do you remember why you were drawn to it? As a teen, I was a competitive dancer and I loved dancing and I just wanted more opportunity to get on stage and dance. And so hmm. the teen program really afforded me that opportunity. And then I took some time off after I aged out of being a teen. I went to college, um, but then college got really expensive. And I was like, okay, I can fill out a bunch of scholarship applications and cross my fingers and hope I get picked. Or I can go compete in the Miss America organization. At the local level, we win lots of scholarships. Every single candidate at the state level gets a scholarship, no matter placement. Mm -hmm. And that just seems like a better alternative to win scholarship money, make networking connections, make friends, and really personally and professionally develop myself. Well, that you know, that that's a very contemporary, current. Those are very those are skills that we're still trying to develop in yes. in, in young women and. Gosh, you know, young guys too. Do you ever feel, I mean, um, do you find yourself having to defend you know, this whole system, this whole program still? There are, I think, negative connotations when we think about these kind of competitions. I like to combat those by saying just how much scholarship money I've won from one year of competing. This was my first year competing for Miss Iowa, and I was lucky enough to be chosen. But for one year of competing, I won $15,250 in scholarships. There you go. And so throwing out that number now really. You talking? Yeah. So uh, we, we just saw that shot of you with your mouth <laughs> wide open when, you get, when your name was announced. Is it, I can't imagine what it must sound like to hear that. It's like, I, I did it. And is it always a shock? I mean, is it every time you've won, you've won uh, several pageants now. Yeah, uh, I mean, I was not expecting to become Miss Iowa this year. I said it uh, just earlier, it was my first time competing and I really was there for scholarships and lots of other reasons, um, but I wasn't going into the week thinking, I'm gonna be Miss Iowa at the end of this. <laughs> well, right. So when I was announced as Miss Iowa, I had that moment of like, oh my goodness, like my whole life just changed and I was not ready or expecting it, or I felt like I wasn't ready, but time and time again, I've proven to myself that I was absolutely ready to take this role on. It's something that has shown me that I have underestimated myself so often really? and I have stopped doing that because of being Miss Iowa. And now you can share that kind of confidence with, with all of these other contestants. And so you know how they feel, you know how nervous they are. Yes. And, and you can really help with that, but they, sh they really look up to you. Have you been able to spend much time with them yet? Yes, um, I'm very good friends with a lot of them. I hosted mm -hmm. a bunch of them for a sleepover earlier this year at my yeah, apartment and just the bonding is one of the best parts of the competition. Um, sisterhood. Yes, absolutely. It yep. truly is a sisterhood. I can, to I can totally see that. M Miss Iowa uh, it, uh, at the Adler, Adler 
Is at the Adler at Theater, the yes. At the Theater, of course, yes. And, and so that's where you go online to, to get your tickets. And then you could just uh, cheer on these very, very hardworking uh, young people who do, I mean, really some of them work all their lives. Oh, yes. For this. And you don't need to be familiar with the Miss America organization to come watch. Seriously, come watch. Get some tickets. You can get them on Ticketmaster. Call the Adler up. Just come watch. You'll be blown away. Yeah, because, and, and support that because um, you know, they want to hear you out in the audience, yes. right? <laughs> and that, that means a lot. So l let's do that. Uh, gee, all the best to you, Grace. Thank it's you. It's so wonderful to see you. Yes. And I know you're going to do great things. So so come back and tell us, okay, about, about oh, what sure. the future holds for you. Yes, you? absolutely. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Thank Good you. Thank you.